Alia from Ireland. Yeah, my question is, if a, if a friend uh, does a, fa a favor for you, like a big favor that changed your life, and then a few years later the friend comes and says, help me, uh, with a difficult favor that can bring me problems, and then I said yes first, but then later when I think about it, I thought that it could bring me also a little problem. Then I said, no, I can't help, and the friend got angry and said that, Remind me the favor they did for me before, like I did big favor for you before, and uh, you are arrogant for not helping me, and Allah will uh, Allah will see you. So if they did, can bring me a problem, like Allah can be not happy with me for not helping my friends when they need me, and I have to say I owe them a favor before. I owe, I owe them a favor before. So I'm guilty of feeling that, but I can't help. Okay. First of all, this scenario involves two parties. The one who initially done a favor to you and you who had received the favor and failed in returning that favor back to them. When we address those who do good, they must not anticipate the reward other from Allah Azza wa Jal. And if they anticipate the reward from Allah, Allah would reward them abundantly. Because Allah is generous and Allah Azza wa Jal does not forget. However, when they do something for the sake of others and anticipate reward from them, their reward with Allah is gone. And they are sinful even more if they remind others with their favors. So it's not only that they're not rewarded. No, they are sinful once they start to remind others. Ah, didn't I do this for you? Didn't I lend you my car? Didn't I uh, 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 do this favor for you and spoke to the manager or to the headmaster? This is part of al -man, reminding people of your favors and what you had done for them. And the Prophet said والسلام, in an authentic hadith, لا يدخل الجنة منان. Those who keep on reminding people of what they had done for them, they are not allowed to enter Jannah, to enter paradise on the Day of Judgment. And this is a major sin. So this is for your friend. <clears throat> As for you, the Prophet instructed us والسلام, to be grateful and to show our gratitude to others when they do us a favor. The Prophet said, whoever does good to you, you have to reward them. So whoever does any favor or something that's good for you, the sunnah is for you to reward them. And if you don't have anything to reward them by, say to them, Jazakumullahu khayran, or make dua for them. But to be ungrateful, this is not a treat of a Muslim. You have to show your gratitude and express that practically and by doing something for the others. If you promised someone to do something for them and then discovered that this is not permissible, it's not appropriate, uh, it is bringing hardship to you, you're not obliged to fulfill your promise. Because nothing in Islam justifies bringing harm to me in order to be grateful or thankful to others when there is hardship uh, upon myself. So you have not done anything wrong if you apologize of doing something that may bring harm to you or may carry hardship to you. But if you had nothing to stop you, after promising, and you can do what you promise without any problem and you refrain, you would be sinful. Is his curse or her curse against you, um, uh, would cause you any harm? Will Allah respond? No. This is general dua, and he has no right to do this, as I re said earlier, because he's reminding you of his favor, and this by itself is a major sin, Allah knows best.
And have you ever taken a, a counseling session with me? Go to my website and you will find counseling sessions and apply for one. If you can afford it, <laughs> that's good for you. If you cannot, you're entitled for one free session. And this is for everybody. If they can uh, uh, um, affirm by Allah that they cannot afford it because they're poor, I'll give them one free session without a problem, a full half an hour. So come to me and let's speak about it, inshallah, within the following two days or three days. And bi-idhnillah azza wa jal, I will uh, 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 try and seek Allah's guidance to solve your problem once and for all bi-idhnillah.